Oh, there, there it is. Larry, can you see that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's from 20 years ago. Is that Ashley? That's Ashley. Oh, little Ashley. Little Ashley. Hi, Ashley. She's not watching. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. It's so Corman. I'm Ashley. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everyone who's on Patreon. Follow us on YouTube account. Subscribe, like, Whoa. button. It's the magic disappearing cup in my hand. Stop having fun with technology. And today we have a, a uh, first look of a new film called Ayalan. Ayalan? Yes, Ayalan. Ayalan, coming out to Diwali of 2023. And yeah. this is directed and written by R. Ravi Chandar. No, Ra- yeah. Ra- Ravi, Ravi Kumar, sorry. Ravi, Ravi Kumar. Kumar. And composed by our Nanbar, uh, Air Rahman. And this is an action sci-fi film that I'm pretty sure includes a little alien from what I've seen. All right. Uh, so uh, let's just get into it and see what this looks like. It's not a teaser yeah. or anything. It's very, very short. It's a first All glance right. into a big first film glance. coming out. Uh, so let's just check this out. Ready? Three, two, one. Little ET is coming. <laughs> well, so when I saw the when I saw the poster for this, because uh, I saw it on Twitter, and I was like, "Is this a remake of Rithik's like Blue Little Alien movie?" Because <laughs> that's what I thought. It looks like it's definitely falling into the category of campy. Uh, yeah. Well, if you don't fix the CGI, it will. For yeah. Sure. For sure, like that. If you're go- if that's what you're going for, and you're like going for a little, little camp, little fun, little Ted uh, kind of stuff, then then right. yeah, that's totally fine. But yeah, since like I'm just I'm looking at the still here at 18. That CGI, obviously, it doesn't come out to Diwali, so they very well probably should be cleaning up a lot of stuff. But if it's a heavy CGI movie, they can't clean up everything. There's a lot yeah. uh, to yeah. clean up. Yeah. The alien definitely looks like a early 2000s CGI alien. It it yes it does. And that's so why that, I, I'm thinking they're going full campy. They're not necessarily going believability here. Well, yeah, I, he's probably like a, a alien. Maybe maybe it's like an alien, like uh, in in the Justice League. Uh, I think the alien in the Justice League is called what's his name? Um, ah, why can't I remember? There's a there's an alien character in the Justice League. Um, I think may Arthur maybe isn't it? like. Like not, that's not his like real uh, alien name, but like I think like, I don't I forget. I, I used to read know. the Justice League book, comic books, but like they had all these humans, and then there was an actual alien superhero. Uh, well, the log the log line on IMDb says it follows a lost alien as it seeks help to go back to his home, but everything gets harder after the alien returns to its home. So it's ET the sequel, maybe. <laughs> the sequel to ET. So maybe it's an alien gets stranded in. On Earth, yeah, in, in India, most likely. And this guy helps him get back. And then he's like, "I need your help, man. You need to come back right. to my place." Right. And obviously, and then he I- becomes, and then he becomes the alien going in. But weirdly, U.S. immigration got there before him, and it takes them three years to get to the planet. It's unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, I'm guessing it's a futuristic world so it's not like i don't think the alien's probably coming into 2023 he's probably right. coming into like 3023 maybe uh um, probably and so they can enter travel maybe it's the year 3000 and they'll get the jonas brothers to do a post credit number yeah the poster actually i don't know if you're i think you're on IMDb. the poster doesn't look half bad uh because obviously in in star wars they have some cgi characters that are yeah. all alien a lot what star wars does well though is they make a lot of them practical like yeah they, they because that's the world you're in. You're like, okay. I mean, it doesn't list it as such. 
it kind of looks like they're going for a combination of live action and animation where they specifically stylize the animation as to not necessarily be full blown believable. Cause maybe he enters this other dimension that yeah. is not going for realism. It's going for a different, completely cartoony kind of feel. Yeah. It's, you just have to be careful with that in the year of our Lord, 2023. Because <laughs> um, we saw what happened to that, that, film that got pushed back and they put another yeah. hundred crores in it yeah, yeah, because of how bad the CGI was. Right. And so people will just not forgive a lot of times, uh, bad CGI anymore. Yes. They, yeah. It's because of the year we're in now because right. CG, CGI is just so cheap now. Well, not cheap, but it's, you can get really good CGI now and everybody expects Marvel level. Exactly. Even though I know 100% they do not spend Marvel level on this film. I know that. No. But even Indians expect that now. They expect exactly. good, even even though there was some stuff in Pathan that obviously was, was not 100% great CGI. Most of it was good CGI uh, right. with, some, with some bad CGI in there. Um, so you can get away with some of it, but obviously your story has to be really good as well. Uh, yeah. The action has to be really good. So it's something I'm always weary of, especially if it's not like a child's film um, that's like meant, yeah. you know, for children. In the photos under IMDb, this thing is going to be a family friendly thing because there's another poster of him and the alien. Okay. And they're they're enjoying lollipops together. I don't know if you oh. can see that. Oh! It's like a, it's like a, uh, it's like a, uh, call me by your name, but with an alien. Yes. That's <laughs> probably the exact direction this is going to go. Hey, and I he's going to teach him things with grapefruit. I feel I, it coming. I would be interested. One, I want to see that Rithic alien film just to see how bad or, or wonderful it is, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. but obviously it's worked in the past, but that was obviously in the early two thousands. And so there was a lot more that was forgiven. Back exactly. in that those days, that does not work in uh, yeah. in, in 2023. But I'm I'm all down for a for a sci-fi film. I love. I, there's not a lot of sci-fi films in India. So if nope. you can do it, if you can do it correctly, and something that is worth watching and enjoyable watching, I even if it's like a, a the CGI is not great. It's more of like campy kind of stuff like that, or it's yeah. whatever. I'm down for it. You just you still have to do it well, and like absolutely, or, or audiences are just not going to go for it. You know. I hope, I really do hope if the intention is for it to be a little bit more animated campy that folks don't just freak out as a knee jerk saying CGI sucks because the CGI very well may be exactly what we saw on purpose. Yeah, but obviously yeah. What, with what they just did to that other film in terms of they pushed it back and, and now it's coming out in July and I, God, there, there's no way that movie's going to make its money back even with Bravo as, yeah. the, as the lead. I just can't see it happening. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But that film yeah. has had bad pub the entire time. Yeah, it really has. Um, anyways, let us know what you thought about it. What do you think about the CGI? Are you are you excited for more sci-fi? Oh. I am. I would love more. I, I want am. more sci-fi and I want more horror. And you can combine the two in Indian yes. cinema. Um, yes. And I, I want more of both of those in Indian cinema because I think it's, it's uh, genres that are lacking uh, for sure. So let us know what you thought down below. Just-